Whenever a hot new Motorola, like say the Crazer, comes out, the first question people always ask us is, does it have those same old menus? Does it have that old OS? And the answer is usually yes. But Motorola has an alternative, the ever so creatively named Java Linux interface. And Motorola promises us, they pinky swear, that one day this will show up in their flagship phones. Until then, it's in the Rocker E2. And we've got one so we can show you what the future looks like. The Rocker E2 was meant to be the follow-up to the iTunes phone launched here in the States. It was announced almost a year ago, but it never came out here, so we won't spend any time talking about the phone itself. Rather, we'll get straight into the new Java Linux interface, or menu, or OS, the software, no matter what you'd like to call it. Most phone companies have names for their software, but it's rarely anything catchy. This software was originally codenamed Juice, which we thought was kind of cool, but when Motorola launched it, they opted for the more boring, but more descriptive Java Linux OS. Just like it says, the new software has a base layer of Linux that makes it more stable and more powerful, giving it the ability to run more than one application at once, with most of the applications written in Java. Enough with this nerdery. There aren't just improvements under the hood, there's changes you can actually see. The home screen looks familiar. Everything is still in the same place, including the visual reminders for the D-pad shortcuts, but the options menu is new. It includes quick shortcuts to common tasks, not just to an application, but to the thing you want to do. There's a clearly worded options menu in each application as well, and in each place, the right soft key will close it and return you to the previous screen. On most new phones, the right key will take you to the main menu, which is no longer limited to just nine items. You can scroll through as many items as you like, and the icons have been updated too. The contacts application has been completely overhauled. I'm sure none of you will complain. It now lists names once and displays multiple numbers for each contact automatically. You can jump to a contact by typing in multiple letters, and once you've selected a contact, a summary is shown with plenty of links to quickly call and email him and more. If you scroll right beyond the useful contact information, there's spaces for address, photo and ringer ID, and even less useful stuff like their zodiac sign. We told you the options menu was useful and clearly worded in every application, see? When we hit edit, you can see how much information each contact card can hold. It's truly boggling, and that's just the first tab. Sorry we're scrolling through these so quickly, but if we listed off every field, we'd be here all day, and you'd be bored to tears. The new audio player is pretty impressive. It's hard to say whether it's because this is a rocker phone, or if this will be included in all phones running the Java Linux software. You can sort through all your tracks in the standard ways, and once you've selected a track, or tracks, you can use the music player to send them to your computer, or a friend, or even assign that track as a ringtone. Crazy, right? Though this album will play in order, you can also change the settings to shuffle the tracks, but there is no quick shortcut to do so. The music player can also, finally, play in the background while you do anything else on the phone, bringing it up to par with the latest offerings from pretty much everyone else. When minimized, a small status display and some basic controls are displayed on the home screen. As with most music phones, playing music in the background causes some pauses and stutters when you try and do other tasks. But that won't stop us from showing you the camera application. It looks pretty similar to recent versions on the Riser and Crazer, with a full screen viewfinder that lets you scroll through most options and effects without having to go to the menus. There's only one obvious new feature, but it's a biggie. The camera finally automatically saves a picture after you take it, instead of forcing you to manually save each shot. It also includes a few nice extras we've seen on other phones, like an auto flash mode that turns on the LED when necessary, and a multi-shot mode that will take a number of pictures with a single button press. This is great for trying to capture some goofy stunt you know your friends are about to pull. We're happy we got a chance to show you what's coming, even if we had to sneak a phone in from Asia to do so. Now we just wish we could tell you when it's coming here.